Hi, I'm Jacinta and today we're back on my Enchanted Forest Island working on another build and today is going to be a shopping district. I placed these buildings off camera because it was a real hassle. It took me a few goes and I just thought I would not include that in the video because yeah, I was really unsure about where I wanted these buildings to go. This area I'm working with it felt really big. There's a decent amount of room here, but then once I started placing both of the buildings, I realized it was going to be a bit more squishier than I thought. We've also got the castle in front here, which blocks the view sometimes, but as long as you move forward a bit, you're still going to get a really nice view of the shopping district that we're going to create. So yeah. I thought this was a good spot for both of these buildings. We've also got the swamp off to the right hand side here. So that's where this water is coming from. I think it's nice to have a little river down the side. Well, anyway, to begin, let's jump into the Island Designer app and let's get started. Now, what do we want to start with? I don't think I'm gonna start with extending this path because I'm not really sure where I want the path to go. Maybe we could start with Nook's Cranny because I'm gonna hide this a bit using the ruined arch item and some castle walls because we're set in the Christmas period and that's not going to work for my island. Hmm, maybe I'll see what some dirt pathing around it will look like. Oops, no, I do not want to sell anything. I'm not sure why. Maybe just so I know where to put the items. And so there's something underneath. It's not just the green grass. I don't know. We will just start with that. I don't really know what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to place some castle walls out the back and I'm hoping they're going to stick out the top. Okay. There we go, that's looking better. And I used the castle gate in the back because you can't tell that it's a castle gate and then it saves one of my castle walls. I am gonna have to order some more though because I'm out of the mossy ones. Or maybe I've got one left, I think. Yep, there it is. Oh, I find these items so hard to work with. I don't know how people do full like castle core islands. I would just struggle so much. I can still see the sign, which is kind of cute. All right, let me just order some castle walls and then I'll be back. I'm back with castle walls. We're on the next day and I have made it a bit earlier, so it's a bit darker now, but oh, this is my favorite time of day. I love it so much. Oh no, we've got red ship. Oh, it's so ugly. Just ruins our enchanted vibes whenever it's here. We're a smoke-free zone. Okay, red. Oh, I don't even think I can fit the walls down this side either. Oh no, I can move this terraforming. Well, there seems to be enough room here to extend this terraforming again. So I think I will do that. Now, I really hope I can fit a tree in this space, but I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to, which is gonna be very annoying. Oh, I can. Okay, wow, that was surprising. <laughs> I really did not think that was gonna work. I'll put one here because I need to hide this corner. It's way too square. It's not looking very good. Oh, nice. I'm so glad I can put them that close to the walls. I didn't think I'd be able to. Okay, now that we've got that decorated, it's like the first part of this build. I think I'm going to try work out what I want in front of Able Sisters. Okay, some of the items we've got for this area. We've got a spinning wheel. Oh, that's way smaller than I thought it was going to be. We've got a loom. That one doesn't look like it's the right color, but we do have another one. Oh, I don't know if you can customize it to make the wood darker. I'm hoping you can. Got the mum's cushion, which actually matches that rug perfectly. Okay, let's see if you can change the color of these looms. I really hope you can. Oh no, damn. I was hoping you could change the wood to be darker. At least you can use a custom design though. Yeah, let's try that one out. I just this loom is just a really like ugly item <laughs> it's so huge so like we could have these little items instead i don't know let's see what we can do i do have a black table that we can put down here i need some more of those darker colors to come back into the island Is that too much all in one spot or is that all right? Yeah, I don't know about this loom. It's just the color of the wood is wrong. Let's do a bit more pathing to fill in the area. And then I think I'm going to put down some dresses as well. I always struggle when using this path because I just feel like it's missing pieces. I always have such a hard time using it. 
Okay, that doesn't look right, but I'm going to throw a wheat field down on the spit and no one will know what's underneath. Yay, perfect. I've got a couple of nice dresses. Oh, I've got this one. Um, Another long one would be nice. Is this one long? Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Those go perfectly together. Love it. Okay, I'm going to grab a couple of flowers to fill in some gaps around that. And then we can start working on the larger area. Now, please tell me I can put one right here. <gasps> no. No. Look at it. It's just the perfect spot for a flower. Oh, I'm so sad. Can I plant a weed at least? Oh, no. Okay, we can put one here at least. If I move that, put a flower here. <gasps> can I not even put one in this spot? Wow, that's terrible. Oh, I can. Okay, well, we can put a nice custom design here instead, maybe. Or we can just leave it empty. Maybe just something small like this weedy kind of one. Yeah, that looks better than nothing. And then where's the sewing box going to go? Might try putting the jail bars down here. I've never used this item before, but other people make them look really good. Just seems like they could be a good gap filler. How does that look from the front? Yeah, looks okay for now. We'll leave it there. I feel like this vine will really match the dresses. So they're all leafy. That is so pretty. I love this giant vine. It's probably one of my favorite items. I feel like I say that about a lot of items, but this one is just really great. Might be time to do some pathing. We'd have like a centerpiece in the middle of the path. What could we have? Maybe just the like wooden signpost item? Yeah, I feel like that could work. Oh my gosh, this castle is so annoying. I'm getting very sick of it being in the way. But yeah, let's start doing some pathing. And hopefully I don't struggle too much. Okay, and I'm going to end the path there because I don't know what it's going to connect to down the end. So we'll just finish it off right there. Now I was going to go right around, then I got scared and thought I would struggle. Maybe I should try. Okay. I take it back. Pathing is not done. I just really struggle with connecting paths into a circle. Oh, okay. I never should have doubted myself. <laughs> that was easier than I expected it to be. Maybe a bit bigger of a circle than I wanted, but that's all right. Can we put flowers here? I don't think we're going to be able to. Oh, we can put it in some of the spaces. This damn castle. <laughs> is really driving me crazy. We may have to pick it up and put something down underneath in this space. Maybe some little mushrooms. I might try like a really small baby tree here. Like a true tiny little baby tree. And maybe another one here too. As always, we want it looking very foresty, nice and full and green. Let's actually look at it in the camera view and then that makes it easier to see what's missing. Oh, this is perfect. I'm really liking this. Now, I do have some decayed trees that I thought could be a good mix. I haven't used any of those on my island yet, but they're great for giving that foresty vibe. Could maybe even squeeze one in this corner or maybe not. <laughs> what about... no? I actually quite like that. I saw the pumpkin items and I thought, why have I not used these on my island? The green ones especially are just perfect. Actually, I wonder if a mushroom parasol would fit here because that would actually be really cute. Oh, not that color, but yep. Okay, we're swapping out the signpost. That looks so much better. It fills up that space a lot nicer as well because the signpost was just a bit skinny. I think we're actually getting close to finishing. Oh wow, just look at that. I'm very impressed. I'm very proud of how this has turned out. Now I've just got this little island to fill in. I love this little one. He's so cute. Oh, I want to take away this patch of light 
dirt because I think it looks kind of weird. I don't know why I did that ring of dirt around it. I shouldn't really have done that, <laughs> but it's too late now. I'm not going to change it. I have some bamboo that I might try plant here as well. It's such a nice bright green color. Now I have no idea what I'm going to fill in this space with, but I'll leave it for another day because I've got the secret beach here and this nice little patch of land. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going to go there. And that is not today's problem. I'm going to plant this last tree just to get it out of my inventory. And I'm wondering if I can put anything on this item. Oh, I can. Is that cute? A little lantern. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to jump ahead a few days so these little trees can grow in and then we can have a look at the finished build. Who's ready to see the finished build? I'm so excited to show it off. I love this build. Here we are. We've got Able Sisters and Nook's Cranny. I think this area just turned out so beautiful. I love the magical vibes of it. And I love that we got a cedar tree with lights in the background. When I started this build, I had in mind that I wanted it to look a bit more spookier or like more witchy. And it didn't really turn out like that. We've got a few like black items. We've got the magical looking dresses and... I feel like the area around Nook's Cranny kind of looks a bit more witchy, but yeah, I don't know. It turned out more pretty, I think, but I still really love the finished build. I do have some other build ideas in mind that I'm going to add to the island that will have more of a witchy theme to them. I actually want to have a villager who will be the witch of the island. I'm thinking Kiki. She's a perfect villager for that, so I'm hoping I've got her amiibo card. But yeah, check back so you can see that build in future because I think that will be a really fun one. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you love this build as much as I do. It's so magical. It's so pretty. It's so green. I am in love. Maybe my new favorite build. I think it might be might be my new favorite build on my island. I love it so much. Well, again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye.